My name's Elisa Jane Carmichael and I am a Kwandamuka woman um, from the Nugi people um, from Morgumpin and Minjiraba, Morton and North Stradbroke Island. And I live um, in Brisbane um, in West End and I travel um, and make my work over on Minjiraba on the island here where I am right now. That's my new shape that I've been doing. I'm an artist and I work um, in multidisciplinary mediums, um, predominantly in weaving, um, but also um, painting and textiles and photo media, um, so cyanotypes and photograms. These are all materials here that have washed up on the shorelines um, after big storms and big tides. Um, we strip them back and weave with the strands. So sometimes we weave with sections like like this, or we leave them whole in their in their raw form too. So my work that um, I've made for Primavera is an installation which is made up of a woven net. The um, title of the artwork. A search for meaning is to absorb the abundance of beauty in nature is the words of my late grandma and it's looking at the spirit of our country and how the spirit of our ancestors um, is in the air the sky the sand the waters and the land and the trees and the whole environment that surrounds us on country and so the materials that are in the work um, within the woven net are tawalpin um, which is cotton tree and this is a traditional weaving fiber um, that would be used to weave strings and make nets and I have woven this piece over the um, course of a year and a half um, throughout the lockdowns and within the net, each strand by strand is thousands of fish scales, which have embellished the net. So the net floats in space, like it's capturing the spirit of our people in the air um, that's surrounding the net. And it's, it's like a net of life. At the edge of the net, um, there is woven strands of string, which run off the fish scales. And these strings have been woven by my family. We've all sat down and wove these strands together um, as an act of healing and coming together and gathering. We're down by the beach, by the water's edge, and we're standing amongst the trees where the beautiful Tawalpin has grown over and woven its way across um, the land here. It's really beautiful. You can see how it weaves in and out of the other trees and the branches and the roots grow across the land. It's a bit of a process to um, work with the Tawalpin. So um, it involves um, gathering the material. So um, the strands that I've woven with are actually the inner bark fiber um, of, of the plant. So um, the process involves um, gathering the branches and then stripping back the outer fiber and then peeling away the inner bark. And so you have to be really gentle and take your time when gathering and harvesting these materials and preparing them for weaving um, and the and the creation that you're going to make um, and also talking about the abundance of country and our relationship with the salt waters um, and how the water provides for us and takes care of us and um, as salt water people fish are a very important food source for us and we would only take what we needed and I think the fish scales are a really amazing representation um, of us as saltwater people as well. They're very um, fragile, but they're very strong. I've stitched them onto this net one by one as, as an act of healing and deep thinking um, while making the work. And then underneath um, the net, there is a cyanotype, which is the shadow of the net. And this um, cyanotype 
is about um, capturing the story of the net in its own form. So it's really beautiful working with the process of cyanotype because um, the, the material that you place on the cyanotype has its own voice and tells its own story and it only shows which parts that it wants to share. I was really excited when Hannah Presley um, invited me to be a part of Primavera before we went into lockdown and you know we had no idea what was what was coming then um, but also shortly um, after just at the very beginning when I started making the work for Primavera um, during that time um, my grandma passed away and um, she um, is our matriarch of our family and um, and we were really really close and um, it was it was yeah it was really really sad um, losing her and um, grieving her and for her and then going into lockdown um, and having that time um, where I wasn't able to um, come to the island here um, because it was it was all closed off and um, there was police blocking people from going to the island and um, it was really hard for me not to be able to come here um, and be on country and um, and using these materials and working with them um, they're so so strong the Talwalpin is um, it's you know it could tie anything and hold anything um, and the strength of that material um, is another representation of the strength of our culture and our people um, and our, our land that we live on today. I, I hope that people will look at the work and remember that the spirit of our country and our ancestors is always everywhere and surrounding us wherever we are across Australia in the air and the waters and the sand and the trees and the landscape our people will always be part of this place um, and always was and always will be. Mm -hmm.